Hello students, my name is Nabil Sari. I'm a teacher of chemistry and English. I'm a registered teacher at the UK Department of Education with a QTS and PGC certificate from Brunel University, London. Uh, this is the first lesson on thermodynamics. Before I start with the definition of thermodynamics, uh, it is very important to understand forms of energy and the relationship between them in order to understand the definition of thermodynamics. Uh, energy can be found in various forms in nature, such as kinetic energy, which is the energy of movement, and potential energy, uh, it is a stored energy. Under kinetic energy, we can put heat energy, which is uh, uh, the energy of moving particles, and we have also mechanical energy, which is the energy of objects in motion. We have also electrical and magnetic energy. Under potential energy, we have chemical energy, which is the energy stored in food and fuel and other chemical compounds. We have elastic energy, nuclear energy, and gravitational energy. We have also sound energy and light energy. All these forms of energy can be found in nature, uh, and we uh, use most of them in our daily life. Uh, but in particular, we use mechanical energy a lot in our daily life. Uh, we use it uh, to uh, run engines of cars and machines. Uh, but unfortunately, mechanical energy uh, is not found in the amount and the way that we uh, need it in our daily life. We need to use a fuel, which is a chemical energy, uh, stored energy and chemical compound. Uh, and we uh, burn the fuel to get thermal energy, uh, which is heat energy, and then we convert it into mechanical energy. So in this process, uh, there is uh, some form of energy is converted into another form uh, in order to be able to use it in our daily life. Uh, and in this way, we can understand the field of thermodynamics. Uh, thermodynamics is a branch of science that studies energy and its transformations. علم uh, thermodynamics هو حقل من العلوم الذي أو فرع من العلوم الذي يدرس الطاقة وتحولاتها. For example, it studies the transformation of heat energy from combustion of fuel into mechanical energy, which runs uh, the en the engines. Uh, على سبيل المثال. Uh, يدرس علم الثرمودينامكس uh, تحول الطاقة الحرارية الناتجة من احتراق الوقود إلى طاقة ميكانيكية uh, التي تستعمل لتشغيل المحركات The first question in uh, this chapter is What are the most significant phenomena that thermodynamics explain? ما هي الظواهر الأكثر أهمية التي يفسرها علم الثرمودينامكس؟ Thermodynamics explain, one, the reasons of occurrence of chemical reactions, asbab uh, two, estimates the chemical and physical changes that one or more substances undergo under certain conditions, يخمن أو يتوقع التغيرات الكيميائية والفيزيائية التي تخضع لها مادة أو أكثر تخضع لها أكثر من مادة تحت ظروف معينة. Three, the reason why some reactions occur spontaneously while some don't occur under the same conditions. سبب حدوث بعض التفاعلات الكيميائية تلقائيا في حين أنه بعض التفاعلات الأخرى لا تحدث تلقائيا تحت نفس الظروف. For the reason why the energy accompanying reactions is sometimes given to reaction while sometimes it is released as a result of the reaction. ما سبب أنه الطاقة المصاحبة للتفاعلات الكيميائية في بعض الأحيان يتم أطلاقها من التفاعل وفي أحيان أخرى التفاعلات تأخذ طاقة من المحيط يعني ملاحظة مهمة Thermodynamics is not interested in time factor علم الثرمودينامك لا يهتم بالعامل الوقت uh, thermodynamics is not interested in time factor in which reactions occur التي تحدث فيه التفاعلات يعني علم الثرمودينامكس ما إلى أي اهتمام أنه يدرس أو يوضح الوقت العمل الوقت اللي تحدث فيه التفاعلات الكيميائية It only studies if a reaction if a certain reaction or more generally if any change will occur or not uh, The rate of change 
is in the field of kinetics. This means that uh, thermodynamics is not interested. It will not tackle um, any uh, factor related to time. Uh, it is in the field. It can uh, the, the time factor can be studied under the field of kinetics, but thermodynamics it will just explain if a reaction or a change will occur or not, definitely under certain conditions. The second question is that. Uh, define energy and mention its main two categories. Uh, energy is the ability for doing work. This is the main definition of energy. Is the ability for doing work. القدرة على إنجاز شغل. It may exist in many forms such as potential energy, kinetic energy, thermal energy, electrical, chemical, nuclear, or other uh, various forms. But the two main forms uh, they are uh, kinetic and potential energy.